So I'm at my unit and um, I wanted to raise some extra capital to go into my brand, but also go into production and manufacturing and a few other things. Um, so as random as it sounds, I decided to start a eBay shop. Um, I've always sold bits and bobs on eBay over the years. And um, I'll be honest, years ago when it used to be having to take it on a normal, uh, having to take photos on a normal camera, upload it to a computer, it was a very long-winded, boring, painstaking process. And now that I've got, a few, I've got a couple of phones, got got the latest iPhone. Um, I'm recording from another iPhone, and. Uh, I, I I downloaded the app. I started using it. My parents were like, oh, "I lost full of your old stuff and junk, and my warehouse. I need to do a giant clear out." And I've, I'll be honest, I've been a bit of a hoarder since I was like fourteen years of age. So my parents have got two lofts full, half their garage. My, my warehouse was just overfilled with too much stuff, and I had too much stuff in my home garage as well. So I decided to start selling stuff that I don't need basically and um in the last 90 days i've raised over almost six and a half thousand pounds so it's no it's no sum to sniff at and um also consider it considering that all this stuff that i've been selling is stuff that i have no emotional attachment to and stuff that i was just happy to let go um because it would just gone in a bin or a skip it was it was um a no-brainer to just sell it so i've sold everything from a boomerang didgeridoo to a pokemon card to books dvds blu-rays a whole host of things um found that technology sells better if i'm honest and um i'm getting more invested and involved in the jewelry sector because i do consultancy in birmingham so i'm going to be selling uh, jewelry on my um on my ebay as well and randomly, I've told a few friends uh, and clients that I'm selling stuff on eBay. And they're like, oh, I've got a garage full of X, Y, and Z. I was like, oh, right, okay. And surprisingly, they're happy to uh, give me a percentage of the sales to help sell it for them. So, so if you're watching this video and you are wanting to start your own little business, side hustle, and you've got no cash, uh, I'm just putting this video out there. It's an idea that you could start an eBay shop. If I was to start over again in business and had no cash, no capital, had no uh, stock inventory, and I was and I was limited on my resources, doesn't matter what age you are, I would probably start a second-hand eBay store and I would sell for other people and work on an agreement of percentage. Um, as random as it sounds, if you could get 20 30 40 even 50 percent of what of what an item sells for if you sold somebody's secondhand tv computer um if you sold um old furniture i'll give you an example i've got someone who's looking to sell um some furniture um i'd probably look at selling it for them put it in my garage hold it for a week sell it through cheap um make myself 100 200 pounds because they were going to they were going to skip it or throw it away. I'll do the um, the offer of just putting it in my garage and I'll get rid of it. And it, and the thing is, we live in a culture now where it's, it's we live in a throwaway culture. So it's so easy just to throw stuff away. And one thing I've come to learn as an entrepreneur over the years, you could have some fancy job title, you can have some fancy um, business title, you could you can say you're on six figures a year. But it's not what you turn over in your job or in your business. It's what you keep. It's your bottom line cash, which is kink. And I find that I see too much ego um, all the time. And I quite often see people throwing things of good value out because they're just lazy. You think know, it's like, oh, yeah, I've had this sofa. It cost me two thousand pounds been sitting in sitting in our garage for a while uh let's skip it but if they just took a photo of it and put it on ebay and sold it they probably make three four hundred pounds and somebody else would actually come to collect it 
and they've made a profit or at least they've got something from something that we're going to throw away. But a lot of people don't think like that and especially those who've got more money than cents. So when I say that, I've, I know a lot of people who, are, who earn in excess of a million pounds a year. So naturally, um, perhaps 400 pounds on a, on a fancy sofa wouldn't be a lot of, uh, lot of money to them. But somebody who's got no stock inventory, low on capital, needs some cash and wants a little side hustle, could work. So just throwing it out there, like I say, I'm talking from experience of dealing with so many different people. Uh, I'm talking from experience of, um, basically what started it was, my dad has been on my case for years about the amount of stuff in his lofts and garage. Um, and it's all my stuff. So um, from an old house that I sold. And and I was I was saying to them, oh, I'm doing this Arnold event. I want to do this event. I want to do these shop upgrades. I want to uh, upgrade my gym. And I said it's going to cost tens and tens of thousands to to do it all. So the most logical thing was sell off old stuff that I don't need, convert it into stuff that I want, and it's going to progress my business forward. And um, ironically, weirdly. I've now got an eBay business where I'm now selling and shifting stuff online. Um, and I reckon, being honest with you, I reckon I could probably make three, three to five thousand pounds a month on eBay, um, just selling secondhand stuff for people. And it's just as simple as going up, taking a photo of the product, quick description, yeah, you have to deal with a lot of time wasters and I'm not gonna say uh, any rude words, but you, you do have to deal with a lot of idiots. Um, but it's worth it. At the end of the day, you can go and trade all your time and effort for um, a job that you hate, or you can do a little hustle like that. And and you know what? It's, uh, it's a no brainer. I, I like to be busy. I think you can tell by my persona and the way I am. I am a bit of a busybody, and I do like to make money. Um, being honest with you, I, in the heat of the in the peak of the pandemic, I was working like 100, over 120 hours a week. So, by now, by the average person's standards, I I, I could openly say I work about 60, 70 hours a week, and to me, that's a quiet week. To an average person, that's that's a lot of hours. But I just have a different work ethic. I work from the moment I get up. Till I go to sleep. I pretty much, if I'm not physically working on a business, like physically moving something, but I'm thinking about my business, I'm technically working because I'm either working on my business or I'm working within. Um, and if you're watching this and you're thinking about a, a simple side hustle, secondhand stuff on eBay, especially coming towards Christmas as well, is a no brainer. There's going to be loads of people who are going to want to get rid of clear out the garage, clear out an old loft, clear out a spare room, want to get rid of stuff, but they're busy with their job or family or business. So reach out to them, say, hey, I can move it for you, but give me a cut. And then just be transparent and show them how much you've uh, made, how much you've made through the sale. Obviously take into consideration the eBay fees as well as um, if you've had to ship, take those into consideration. So if you sold, if you had an agreement that you were on 30% of profit, and um, you sold something for a hundred pounds. It might be, for argument's sake, you sold a, a PlayStation 2 for 100 pounds. Uh, it's been sitting in someone's garage or loft for, for years gathering dust, but you've managed to sell it for a hundred pounds because some kid likes the idea of buying this nostalgia PlayStation 2 piece. Um, so you've sold it for 100 pounds, the delivery signed for via Royal Mail or another courier might have been £10. Um, so that's £90 minus, sorry, it's £100 minus the £10 for delivery and eBay fees are 10%. So you are at £100, instantly you've lost 20%. So you've got £80 profit on that item. But if you're working on, say if you're working on 50% because you've helped someone shift it, you've made £40. So looking at the time that you spent on selling that item let's look at the logic behind it you've spoken to a friend who can't be bothered to sell it who's likely to skip it or it's going to sit there gathering dust 
all you've done while you're chatting, you took a photo, you made a brief description, you've put it on eBay. eBay's done the hard work for you. You put it on a bid system if the worst comes to it, or a buy now. And uh, you've got it agreed with your friend once it sells, money goes to you, you pay your friend once you've been paid, once it's been shipped. And, uh, and that was 40 pounds for effectively half an hour to an hour's work. So if you earn good money, naturally eBay might not be a good value of your time. The reason why I'm, like, I'm liking the idea of doing eBay is because I like to be busy and um, I've got so much stuff personally it's ridiculous like I've worked it out if I sell another 1200 personal possessions on eBay at an average of like 40 pounds you're talking almost 50,000 pounds and I'd rather convert that into hard cash and put it into investments and assets and property and whatever else rather than just having stuff junk just sitting around not making me any money so um, there we go there we go so eBay as a side hustle um, for, for most people could work. So if you work a nine to five job, you could be, you, you work part time, you're a single mum, you need some extra cash. It might be your 17 year old lad, 18 year old lad, you're at college, you're at university, you need an extra side hustle. There you go, I've given you an easy, simple side hustle where you could earn more money part time than you could doing a full time job. There you go. I'm Gavin Townsend. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. I'm also on Instagram at Gavin Townsend Fitness. If you found this information useful, if you found my ideas into eBay useful, um, give the video a thumbs up. Um, also, if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel here, that'd be great. Uh, I have set myself up as a business consultant. I've got a new website going live soon called Limitless Potential. Uh, I do a bit of business consultancy. I'm in charge of the marketing of a 50 million turnover business. I own my own million pound turnover business. I do um, various things as well. So if you ever need help um, or guidance, or just a, simply a different view on your business, on your, on your career, I do online business coaching. So I'll put some information below. Um, just WhatsApp me or email me. Thanks for watching and hit the subscribe button. Have a great day. And more importantly, never quit on your little hustle.